Hello and welcome back to the updated version of Tutorial 72 and this is the second video in a little series that explains how to create these lines and style them. And what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be styling the lines based on some user inputs and we're also going to be using the alert functionality that, that is built into horizontal lines. So what I've done is copied the program into a new program called uh, Drawing Objects Number 2. It's identical to the one that we added in the first part of the program, except what I've done now is added some new inputs. And you can probably guess that uh, these are color inputs. Uh, these inputs are to do with the weight and these inputs are to do with style. So let's go and make the modifications and what we're going to do is use exactly the same apart from now we're going to add some additional features or additional attributes to these lines so mid dot color is equal to color and there's a useful feature here we can use from name and then the name is one of the inputs and it's called midline color i can just go and copy that like so, so that's going to take care of the color. We also want to take care of the weight. So mid dot weight is equal to midline weight. Again, it's one of our inputs. And then mid style. And this is also one of our inputs. like so. So let's just verify that and make sure we haven't made any typing errors. And if we go to the chart now, you'll see immediately that we have a change in the middle line. It's been styled in a certain way. It's been given a certain weight and it's been given a color. So what I'm going to do rather than uh, showing you how to do that for the, uh, the top and the bottom line, it's exactly the same. I'm going to type that in and uh, then we're going to be looking at setting up an alert for the line. Okay, I've made the uh, the changes here. I also noticed a little error that the persist should have been set up as top and uh, bottom persist in case you notice that. And if we go to the chart now, you'll see that those things have been set up appropriately. Final thing that I want to include here with this line, and that is alert functionality. And uh, rather than typing it all in, what I'm going to do is just go to the toolbox and set up horizontal line and we're going to go to properties and we're going to be looking at the various things here under alert functionality and I'm just going to change a few of these things I'm going to enable the alert uh, global notification false notification uh, we don't want email but we do want audible we do want the visual and then you've got further options in terms of what the uh, what the sounds are and so on you could uh, have a beep or sound voice and uh, sound configuration now you can uh, play around with those and see uh, how the different options uh, would suit you best. But what I've done that for is because I can now go into the designer generated code and what I'll be able to find are all the alert conditions laid out for me here. So I can just copy those like so and go back to our program. And we're going to actually add these for the mid. So they're all misnamed at the moment because they're all saying horizontal line. So what we need to do is in each case change the horizontal line one to mid. Like so we need to delete this thing in our tray. So we're not actually using that. And then we could we could tidy this up a little bit more because as you'll see in our <clears throat> namespaces, we've got EL system drawing and drawing objects. And uh, so what we could do here 
is get rid of EL system drawing objects. We don't need that there. And the same here. And the same here. And here. And here. Okay, so let's see if that's okay. Verifying it. And the chart shouldn't look too different. But what I'm going to do is just move this middle line nearer price action. And then if we just watch the chart for a few moments, we may get an alert. So we're getting an alert, uh, audio and uh, a visual alert that we've crossed the line. And uh, you can see horizontal line on EUR USD triggered like so. Okay, so I hope uh, you found this useful. The programs that I've uh, created in these two tutorials are available for download. They're basically the same as the ones developed in this tutorial, but I've added uh, a lot more uh, commentary, which hopefully will be useful. Anyway, thank you again.